so the project developed over the course of a few months. We submitted this proposal and we were very excited to get awarded this, this award from Kaijin. So the advances in sequencing technology now allow us to look at the gut microbes in terms of its impact on animal social behavior. Uh, animals groom each other. These animals that we study are always grooming each other. And we can now look at their gut microbes and how this might impact their social behavior. Our research group collects different types of samples from these animals that are from this island in Puerto Rico. Uh, we'll swab the skin, we'll swab different parts of the oral facial uh, biology, and we'll look at uh, different aspects of the microbial communities in these swabs. I think the most interesting part of this project is the way that it's so comprehensive. We're looking at all different aspects of the biology of the animals over the long term, and then also sampling these animals once a month and collecting blood once a, once a year to look at their um, serotonin levels as, as well as the microbiome communities in the gut. Well, I was surprised pleasantly, of course. It was a great, great piece of news to receive that day. I thought about my team of young scientists that helped me develop this protocol and, and proposal, and we're excited to get to work and continue with the, the microbiome study. I've used Kaijin kits throughout my graduate career, and as a postdoc, uh, they're easy to use, they're ready to go. It's, it's quite simple to, to extract all of my samples using their extraction kits. I'm most excited about having access to a Kaya cube for automated extractions. Uh, we're looking forward to doing this uh, at a higher throughput than we do now, and it'll be a great tool to use in our lab. So I recommend to all the young scientists out there, be creative, explore the potential of the microbiome field. There's a lot to do, a lot to uncover, and a lot to discover. I want to thank Kaya Jin for this award. It's a great privilege.